Okay, since I ran out of time in the last tutorial and I wanted to talk about how to add a second sidebar to your site, I'm just going to do that in a shortened video here. Now I'm just going to put it down here where Dextraspeed actually set up a second div just to show off that his site checked with uh, W3C. Um, so if we go into our functions.php file, basically we can just add another sidebar the same way we did up here. I'm just going to copy all this code, put it there, and make another sidebar and call it sidebar 2. Now one thing I should have noted last video, I know I talked about how older uh, versions of WordPress don't support the register sidebar function. Technically you should put all this in a if function exists register sidebar um, conditional, and you can do that, but I wouldn't. It encourages people to upgrade their WordPress. So now that we have that, we can go into our admin area and add more widgets. So I'm just going to reload the widget page here. And now we have sidebar 1 and sidebar 2 available. I'm just going to add, uh, I'll add arbitrary text. And I'll just type that so that we can see if it's working. And I want to add it to sidebar 2, save widget. Now again, we need to tell WordPress that we want to put the sidebar there, so we're going to go into our sidebar.php, and once again, I'm going to copy this code, although I'm going to put it in uh, this side images div in another unordered list, and I'm just going to change the name of it so that it doesn't say uh, sidebar1, and it, we want sidebar2 echoed out here, and that's interesting that you actually can have uh, multiple sidebars the same sidebar echoed out in multiple places. So now if we load that up, our little text thing should be down there. And it is. Now this will follow the same styling as the other one because it's all in the div ID sidebar. And that's really all you need to do to add multiple sidebars. You can put them anywhere you like. You don't have to keep them in your sidebar.php file. As long as you have this code, they'll work fine for you. Okay, in our next video, we'll talk about uh, how to add an admin page for the theme so you can change your own options.